Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. Hello and welcome to the last episode of the season of Ram Center. I'm your co-host, Shai Dantzler. And I'm James Jackson. Shai, I feel a little bit of the pressure. I Finals know. Finals week coming right around the corners. I know. A little bit of a stressful time. For I know. How's it looking for your finals? I think I only have like two, two like test finals mm -hmm. and I had a couple papers and a project to do. But overall, not too bad. Cool. But you know what always gets my stress down? What? Talking about Westchester sports. It does. Let's get into it. Now let's catch up with what our men's basketball team has been up to. The team currently sits at a record of 4-4. Four and four. This past weekend, the team fell short to Slippery Rock University with a close score of 69-71. to 71. This was on Saturday. But the, key, the team came back to end the weekend on a good note with a win against Edinburgh University, Pennsylvania, Sunday afternoon. On Saturday, Malik Jackson led the Rams with 19 points and Matt Pinnacle added 14. It was a close game, taking a tip on at the horn for the team to overcome our Golden Rams. On Sunday, again, Malik Jackson was on fire, scoring a season high of 30 points. Jackson Highland added 16 points and Matt Pinnacle 15. The, the Rams forced 24 turnovers and allowed their opponents to only get 48 shots in the game. This one stopped, at, stopped the two-game losing streak and hopefully only up from here, boys. Mm -hmm. Their next match is December 10th against Mercyhurst at 3 p.m. Good luck. Good to see our boys turning around after a little mm -hmm. two-game losing streak. Yes. Malik Jackson, as always. As always. I definitely think he can claim that he is the top scorer of that team right mm -hmm. now. You know, second year in a row. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to a team that always doesn't get to share a lot of the spotlight, okay. but definitely deserves to today. Our men's diving team, who right now sits with a record of two and three following three straight tough losses to NYU. Lehigh and Bloomsburg. Their last meet was at home against Rowan University on the 12th of November, where Westchester's Daniel Roy was very imp impressive, posting a score of 356.80 in the three meter. That's enough to qualify him for the NCAAs. Also breaking through was teammate Jonas Ricci, who accumulated a score of 274.50 in the one meter board, which also was enough to qualify him for the NCAAs. So congrats to both these guys, but the season is not over yet. The Golden Rams travel to Ewing, New Jersey next to take on TCNJ and their diving invitational on Friday, December 2nd at 10 a.m. Yeah. So, some, you know, a team who's not really going to get a lot of the headlines mm -hmm. at Westchester, but we have two outstanding athletes on our team going and representing uh, Westchester on the national Which scene. Is very exciting. That's awesome. Very right? exciting. So now we're going to throw it over to Cheyenne with this day in sports. Welcome to This Day in Sports. On This Day in Sports in 1961, Ernest Ernie Davis, Syracuse University halfback, became the first African American to win the Heisman Trophy. Davis went on to be the number one pick in the 1962 NFL Draft and was selected by the Washington Redskins. Davis was immediately traded to the Cleveland Browns to play his idol, Jim Brown. Unfortunately, that summer, Davis was diagnosed with leukemia and died in 1963 at the age of 23 without ever playing a professional game. Davis was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame and his jersey was retired with the Browns. Now over to Marcellus with By the Numbers. Marcellus. What's going on Rams and welcome back to another edition of By the Numbers. My name is Marcellus Council Jones and this week I will be comparing some of which can be considered a quarterback's worst nightmare, cornerbacks. As I mentioned last week stating the linebacker position was my favorite to watch on a defensive end cornerback is right behind it. There are many great corners in the league right now, but two to come to my mind are Arizona Cardinals cornerback Patrick Peterson and Washington Redskins quarterback Josh Norman. Let's now compare these two and see who has been the better shutdown corner. Patrick Peterson has been nothing but great since he came into the league six years ago. In his sophomore season, Peterson had 52 solo tackles, three assisted tackles, and an amazing seven interceptions, which were returned for a total of 64 yards. Currently during the season as of December 5th, he has 30 solo tackles, four assisted tackles, and two interceptions returned for a total of 25 yards. Josh Norman has been quite the story in the NFL as of late, battling and arguing with top wideouts such as Des Bryant and Odell Beckham Jr. During his last season with the Carolina Panthers, Norman had 48 solo tackles, 8 assisted tackles, 4 interceptions, and 2 of those were returned for touchdowns. 
Now, during his tenure as a member of the Washington Redskins, and currently as of December 5th, Norman has 33 solo tackles, 10 assisted tackles, and one interception. Well, that's all the time I have for By the Numbers. I would like to personally thank everyone who I work with and support has supported me during the years of helping make Ram Center a huge success as I am graduating this December. Make sure to stay tuned for what Ram Center has in store for the future. And my name is Marcel's Council Jones, signing off for the last time. And now, to Samara with her pro sports segment. Samara, to you. The Eagles have dropped their third straight game and sit at fourth place in the NFC East with a record of 5-7 and seven after a 32-14 loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. Scoreless in the first half, the Eagles had to overcome a 19-point deficit where they fell short. Andy Dalton looked sharp, completing 23 passes on 31 attempts for 332 yards and two touchdowns. However, the Bengals had to settle for field goals on two of their first three possessions. The game was the first win for the Bengals since they beat the Browns at home on October 23rd. For the Eagles, Carson Wentz set a new career high in pass attempts with 60, but only completed 36 passes for 308 yards and a touchdown with three interceptions. Wide receiver Jordan Matthews was sidelined due to an ankle injury, limiting Wentz in the air, who was able to connect with tight end Zach Ertz for a touchdown. Likely out of playoff contention, the Eagles will face the Redskins in a division matchup. With the Redskins' loss to the Cardinals on Sunday, the Cowboys became the first team to clinch playoff berth. Switching over to basketball, Russell Westbrook is making a strong case for why he should be this year's MVP, averaging a triple-double a game. Westbrook is the first player with five straight triple-doubles since Michael Jordan. With 10 triple-doubles this season, Westbrook needs two more in a row to tie Michael Jordan's streak of seven games. OKC currently sits at fifth place in the West behind James Harden and the Rockets. That's all I have for Pro Sports this week. I'm Samara Rosenfeld. James and Cheyenne, back to you. Thanks, Samara. Great segment, as always. Now, one of our hosts, Marcellus, this was his last episode today because he's graduating. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Marcellus. Now, you know, it's going to be different without Marcellus here. Mm -hmm. Ram Center will definitely miss you. You've been here for a few years. Two great years. Yeah. Marcellus will definitely not feel the same. Yeah, you definitely bring something to the show. Mm -hmm. We'll miss you so, so much. Mm -hmm. We wish you the best of luck in everything you do, my man. We're proud of you. We're looking for great stuff. Well, that's all we have for this episode of Ram Center. And again, it is our last episode of this season. Mm -hmm. Remember to study hard for finals. And when you need to take a break, follow us on our Instagram and Twitter accounts at WCU Ram Center and like our Facebook page. As always, I'm your co-host, Cheyenne Dantzler. And I'm James Jackson. Stay golden, Dub C. Have a great rest of your semester. We'll see you again in 2017. <laughs> Welcome to...